dogs are healthy. Vegan dogs are happy. Vegan dogs can thrive. Vegan dogs are healthy. Vegan dogs are happy. So why pay for murder? Keep all the animals alive. Hello, students. Welcome to class. I'm Miss Katie. I'm that vegan teacher, and I'm here to remind you that you should be vegan too. Today we're going to be looking at Dr. Mike's account. Now Dr. Mike is somebody who has done some videos about me and he has also tried to be vegan for 30 days and then he decided that, well, he thought he was farting too much. So he decided to go back to paying people to murder animals on his behalf. I wasn't too happy about that. But you know, today we're doing something different and that is that we are looking for moral consistency. So recently, Dr. Mike has posted a video about his dog's paw being missing. And we're wondering if he ate that paw or not. And we're also very fascinated with a video that he's doing where he's promoting and trying to sell meat products. So let's have a look. Dr. Mike, Dr. Mike, Dr. Mike. Dogs are friends, not food, not big and sausage or ham. Eat peanut butter and banana and dance to this vegan jam. Don't eat chickens, cows, cats, or dogs, or even a single lamb. Be morally consistent, be vegan, like that vegan teacher told you to be. Because even you admit it, it's healthy. Good for the planet, the animals, and it's the best way to live your life with empathy. Yeah. All right, students. Well, here we are over on TikTok, and we're going to be seeing Dr. Mike's channel. And today's assignment is about being morally consistent. So unfortunately, if Dr. Mike is in fact eating dogs and promoting that people eat them, then he is being morally consistent and I'm going to have to give him an A+. Plus. Now I hope this is all a joke and that he's not actually doing this, but that's the assignment today. So let's have a look and see what he is up to here. I want to talk to you about puppy box. As Poppy Box. Oh boy, it's not starting off too good. I know that he sells or promotes the selling of different types of meat that get delivered to people's houses. And now what is it? Puppies? What? Some of you know, I've completely transformed my diet in the last year as I prepare for my debut as a pro boxer. This could have easily become a process of eating bland foods, but thanks to Puppy Box, my meal... It didn't literally say Puppy Box on there? have been better than ever. Puppy Box delivers 100% beef fed dog, free range organic chihuahuas, wild caught puppies, and so much more directly to my door. In particular, I've been enjoying their wild Alaskan golden retriever, which is fresh. Oh wait, what? Um, okay. Fresh and flavorful, while also being packed full of nutrients. Puppy Box only sources from farmers who meet the highest standards of quality, and you can choose your box and delivery frequency so you get the exact foods you and your family love. If you click the link in the description right now, Puppy Box is going to give you free ground dog for life. That's right, new members will receive two pounds of beef fed ground dog. Ground dog? What? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I mean, hey, I guess he's being morally consistent. What's the difference really between a, eating a dog and eating a cow, right? Eating a dog and eating a pig. eating a dog and eating a chicken. What's the difference? All of them have two eyes, they have ears, 
they have a brain, they have a nervous system, they have feelings. None of them want to die. All of them want to stay alive. All of them have families and friends. So if you're going to kill a bunch of animals, I guess it only makes sense that he's going to also eat cats and dogs. I want to talk to you about Puppy Box. As some of you know, I've completely transformed my diet in the last year as I prepare for my debut as a pro boxer. This could have easily become a process of eating bland foods, but thanks to Puppy Box, my meals have been better than ever. Puppy Box delivers 100% beef-fed dog, free-range organic chihuahuas. Wow. What? Free-range organic chihuahuas? caught puppies and so much more directly to my door in particular i've been enjoying their wild alaskans golden retriever which is wild fresh and alaskan While golden retriever dr mike instead of eating animals why don't you eat other things like you said on your channel it is completely healthy to eat vegan food <laughs> Tofu scramble, tofu scramble, it's so easy to do. Woo -hoo. Eating eggs is so last century, nobody needs to, so here's what you do. Mash tofu, green onions, and celery in a pan. Add black salt, turmeric, and spices, yes you can. Mix in some vegan mayo, mix in some vegan mayo. Now mix in a salty pickle, yeah that's the way to go. Oh, woo. Tofu scramble, tofu scramble, it's so easy to do. Woo -hoo. Learn how to make it, cause saving animals will make them happy and will make you happy too. The egg industry's just a cycle of misery. Let's make the animal holocaust history. The egg industry's just a cycle of misery. Let's make the animal holocaust history. Tofu scramble, tofu scramble. It's so easy to do. Woohoo! Learn how to make it, cause saving animals will make them happy and will make you happy too. A vegan diet is 100% healthy for all stages of development. The Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics has clearly stated it. Whether you are an infant, a child, a teenager, a mother, a father, a grandparent, a nursing mother, a pregnant mother, anyone can be vegan as long as they get a well-balanced diet and you're eating enough calories. So Dr. Mike, why don't you promote that? Why on earth would you encourage your audience to eat puppies? and baby cows, and pigs, and chickens. And why on earth would you also on your channel encourage people to steal the milk from cows? Why don't you tell everyone on your channel to drink oat milk and soy milk? Why are you remaining blind to what you were doing? But hey, I guess I'm gonna have to give you an A plus for moral consistency. Well, I guess for you it is consistent, but for me, I see the whole thing as being inconsistent because otherwise you're going to have to show that you're also willing to eat humans. And are you? I mean, what is the difference? Name the trait. What does a human have that makes you think that you're not going to eat them, but you're going to eat all of these other sentient beings who, as I said, also have family and friends and feelings and they want to live and they are scared when people come at them at, with a knife? Is that what's next, Dr. Mike? Are you going to next be telling us that you eat the body parts of the humans that you take care of after they die? Or are you going to be advocating for getting rid of people who are less than perfect or who don't look like you? To what degree are you racist towards animals and does this travel over to humans? Why are you prejudiced against those who look different than you, Dr. Mike? Animals deserve to live just like anyone else while also being packed full of nutrients. Puppy Box only sources from farmers who meet the highest standards of quality, and you can choose your box and delivery frequency so you get the exact foods you and your family love. If you click the link in the description right now, Puppy Box is gonna give you free ground dog for life. That's right. Free ground dog for life. Bear not included yet. Oh, Bear is the name of his other dog, and Bear is not included yet. But I guess at one point, He's going to be including Bear in that, which is another dog that he has. Wow. 
Well, everyone, let me know in the comments what it is that you think about all of this. Does this surprise you in any way? Are you okay with this? I mean, personally, I have to give him an A plus because, you know, if he's still eating these kinds of animals and all animals, well, at least he's consistently a horrible person. What about you? Why don't you be better than Dr. Mike? Why don't you be vegan from now on? How you do that is you go to howdoigovegan.com. Go to howdoigovegan.com. Sing it with me. Howdoigovegan.com. Sing it again. Howdoigovegan.com. Sing it with me. Howdoigovegan.com. You can absolutely do it. You can be a better person. You can help the environment and you can help save hundreds of animals instead of letting them suffer. Thanks for being here. Coming up on screen are going to be a bunch of other videos. Please click on them. And to those of you who have not yet subscribed, please subscribe to this channel to see more of my videos. And also, it's hug time. For those of you who are vegan, give yourselves a big hug. Or those of you who are trying to be vegan, because we live in a speciesist world. We live in a world full of people like Dr. Mike who are cruel to animals and we are trying very hard to raise awareness on behalf of the innocent animals who are suffering. So I salute you and happy Vegan Declaration Day to all of you who have decided to be vegan today. I am so, so proud of you. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now. But let me tell you what is Teaching our children to love animals And then teaching them that we can harm those we love Veganism isn't extreme But let me tell you what is Teaching our children to care for animals Show us